Once again, we, we return resume. to Swamp. In Medias Res. In Medias Swamp. In Marsh Res. In place of the Swamp. I guess Ashley just kind of vanished at some point. Mm -hmm. Wherever she went, she went fighting. Mm -hmm. We are already familiar with leeches. Who left their book on leeches down here? Who, who would be studying leeches as they sit in a corner? This is some sort of farm. A leech farm, huh? We are near an ogre settlement. That would make sense, you're right. Domesticating and harvesting the giant leech for its medicinal properties. They also make a wicked catchatory. the team very long and already Isabel has a healthy taste for violence. And the flash of ogres. He'll do well there. One leans into the other. Yeah, this looks like a pretty small setting. Yeah, this this seems Please, like a homestead. Help me. Please, free me. If the ogres don't torture me or use me as food. Deepest gratitude. I can't offer much, but I can go with you as far as the ogre's outpost near the north. Get yourself. Found ourselves this unused fork. It would appear we've maxed out slow. Oh, that's uh. That's it's something. Done. Books would otherwise auto use when you pick them up, so you must know all there is about slowing things down. You've mastered the spell Chill Out. And, uh, yeah, work the wise friend. When you're going about intro. Yeah, there's that. No mercy. No skin. The secret hornet. When you're introducing yourself to someone new, don't start with raising the thought that you could be used as food. Especially to someone like, uh, like Michael Swirly. Swirly. You're the one who put that out there. We wouldn't have brought it up. But now that you mention it, Zoe. you are made of me. And you look toned and fit. You, you probably got some fine meat on you. Done. Enchanted me. Byzantine's bog shop. Ugh. I don't like any of those words. You got your, you know, swamp. You've got the awful name, and then you got your capitalism. Ah, you truly tempt fate by coming here, stranger. So, would you like to arrange funerary services, or might you desire to purchase goods? No one deserves to be buried in swamp. It's true. And again, no one can choose whether or not they will be buried in the swamp. Also true. If it is the will of the bog, then it will claim you. A book on ogre lords. A book on fists. Yeah, just making sure there's nothing unique in the. Oh, hello. 
That's an extremely valuable item. That if I had deliberately saved for it, would have been very nice. To, at least if I'm reading that right. I believe that would be a functionally unlimited fireball staff. Yeah. Unless replenishment is a different keyword from recharge. By the way, though, we didn't end up here with the right collection of funds for it, so whatever. I, I think it's probably our grapes. Yep. We've mastered some other spells as well. We can now summon ogre lords. He'd be able to summon two of them. That's probably fair, but I don't think mm -hmm. they'll be able to outpace Isabel. Yeah. Although that they have a ranged ah, weapon itself truly has its potential use. Coming here, stranger. So, would you like to arrange funerary services, or might you desire to purchase goods? If we'd planned around it, we could have wound up with enough money for that staff. Speaking of, of having enough of something, you probably could just go ahead and use that crossbow for the rest of the game and have no problems. You have so much ammo for it. Mm-hmm. Ogba's anti's woefully inadequate security. These assholes keep wasting Prison their wizard. spells on frogs. Prison wizard also loads all creatures. Well, he has a pretty good reason to, I think. Mm -hmm. Swamp changes a man. Oh my. We have determined the maximum number of zombies, which one golem can endure. And it's four, it looks like. Four and change. Mm -hmm. You died for something. Here also, he mostly stuns and slows things, which is pretty useful. This hmm. Just given the prevalence of zombie about, just briefly going to experiment with him, or rather, yeah, Ember. Everybody. Roll with some medium creatures. Jedediah and Jebediah. Alright. Jeb. Jeb, come on. Jeb. What are you doing, Jeb? Look, Jed got out just fine. Well. Alright, they proved a bit more of a liability than an asset. Well, I think, um... I think Swamp Explosives Meat Explosives are not your friends. Yeah, I think Swamp Weep Meat Wizard may be, uh... Yeah. Yep. He's gone. Oh well. Plausibly denied. If you're far enough away from a wisp when you anger it, it just won't know what to do. It'll lash out at anything. Close enough to bees, they know exactly what to do. Very focused. Very precise. 
The bee life. Dude. Dude. Oh right, that's his summon, not mine. You also call friends. And you just run out of your healing atoms, huh? Mm -hmm. Should have been able to carry more sticks. Jump, jump. You put on your and night vision find goggles. More than one cut of meat in this entire mystical realm. <laughs> you put on your night vision goggles and pulled out your gun Don't to destroy die. the wizard. Tactical omens. Unstoppable points. Tactical goblins. Marlin has an extremely large tactical uh, collection of items. He buys a lot of knives from online sources. Marlin is made of only the finest cord wrapped stone. Loves him some paracord. Each one of his fingers is a branded knife with a tanto point. Let's see, we have ascended. We retain to the next level. Have we reached the tenth level? Not. Bad. No, not yet. We won't be able to beat Wudong at this rate. Another two years of swamp isolation. Fortunately, we've reached civilization. The swamp is nearly at an end. Excellent. That was very. That was very. We have shaky. exchanged the customary welcoming bolts. Or at least tunic disintegrated in the effort. As is customary. You've got spares, Snowbag. I think Marlin's eating all the steaks you come across, and you can be able to use some of them. The bottomless hunger of the earth. Tactical hunger. Ah, children! It's been a long time since we saw any children. Be free, children. These are friends, children, I see. Well, to the degree that they can. Children have not yet developed the capacity for more. Well, yes. An elder child. Slain before his time. 
He was too young old. An explosion of meat. It's my favorite kind of explosion. Wipe ahead of an explosion of flavor. Now you're cooking with cordite. Get yourself some rare earth meats. Reload. Looks like your pants and hat are also on the verge of disintegrating. In due time. This wolf will take its due. Ah! I believe that marks the point where we are officially out of swamp? That, yeah, I think we're, we're past swamp. We're now firmly into stone and... We're out of the wilderness! Insofar as you mark caves as not really being wilderness anymore. Well and truly into the ogre fort. That ogre didn't want to hurt you. Marlin just punched him. Marlin knows who to trust. No one. Very well. Exemplifies all the best qualities that you have. Marlin's the best of all of us. Hungry for the flesh of the dead. I'm surprised they don't notice you through the window. Gotta makes you wonder why they even have windows in underground uh, establishment. in some sort of shop front or official's booth. Perhaps. Those two were lords of licensing. Maybe they were cops. receivable. Marlon's a little bit distracted slaying mice. Marlin, be very careful in here. Alright. Observe proper safety protocols. Don't worry, this will be fine. You can get Marlin back. Only temporarily obstructed. Need to find more switches, maybe? Something like that. Maybe Marlin messed it up when he also stepped on the switch? Ah. You almost got crushed. Excellent work. Oh, there he is. Almost ain't close enough. 
that I've missed out on a hidden passage there, unless that would reopen. I'm not sure how this room is all wired together. It's like one big timed sequence, or iterated through the various switch bits. Interestingly, I think the ogres are the most technologically advanced people. Because look at all these traps. These are mechanical marvels. Yeah, I suppose it would be depend on if you count various applied sorceries as technology. I don't. That... Then it would be a toss-up between the ogres and the wizards. In terms of secular technologies, absolutely the ogres. Look at all these gizmos. Yeah. And yet the various towns regard them as savages. How close-minded. Just because they want to eat you doesn't mean they can't also be civilized. The humans who themselves rely purely on the occult for power. Yeah. See you later, Marlin. Going undercover. The deepest state of survival, where you go off of off the grid. That's when you just become a hermit, isn't it? When you withdraw from existence and learn of the way. Eventually, Squirrely will just make a pact, and he will never vow to never touch the ground again, and with this he will ascend to rank of Hermit. For now, his task is not yet complete. He's got plenty of touching left to do. It'll be giving up one of his favorite things, the feeling of everything beneath his toes. Oh, damn, we paid money for that. He paid money for a lot of things that didn't end up working. We have a lot of options for things to buy, not all of them necessary. Garth over there has made his share of regrettable purchases. You think that there wouldn't be much that a, you know, beast of stone and metal would want, but it turns out there's quite a bit. The oh. absence of conventional needs just causes them to focus in more strongly on luxuries. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't own a jeweler's kit unless you were a jeweler, but it's standard issue for any golem with any kind of job, because that's just, that's how they polish. How you polish, how you sharpen, how you carve. Yeah. It's just like the equivalent of having nice clothes for us. Not quite strong enough to dispose of cor scorpions with a single blow. Who is, though? Aside from Fluxgar. We can't just compare <laughs> every person. Yeah, we can't just compare every person we meet to Fluxgar. Welcome back, Mimics. Excellent thought. They make similarly powerful to golems. They do they they swing hard enough that they can be a threat to them. 
And they are chuffed enough to not get immediately melted by their blows. Mm -hmm. Golem versus Mimic. Fair toss up of a fight. Golem would win, but if there were two Mimics, then I think it would be more of a toss up. Or like if the Golem got distracted by something else. Yes. Giving Garth your friend. I don't think Garth was interested. Oh, it's a bit of an introvert. It happens. He's focused on doing his work right now. That's a professional. Speaking of professionals, I think we just uh, found another... Garth, how'd you evade that hole? Hmm. I was about to say, I think we found another golem trap, but... I, I think oh, I actually you... It turns out it might not be a problem if you can manage to get in. Oh, so, there we go. That was oh, exactly I... the kind of situation in which Mimic can overpower the game. They're quick enough. Rule number one of living off the grid. Use the environment to your advantage. Make the world your ally before someone else beats you too. One of those moments is a uh, poison. Yep, still going. Scorpions, defend me. Unfortunately, Mimic's a very short attention span. Comes with being ambush partners. If they don't get that kill, then they just give up. Mm -hmm. Try to conserve energy. Yep. They're not built for the chase. I didn't think you killed it. That's still alive, it just it hasn't decided where to take a nap. Skittering. <laughs> Wandered far from home. Let's spin the prize wheel here and see what we get. It's, it's a remarkably devious pit. More than it seems. Creature at arm's length. Till the opportune moment. Almost there. Patience is important.
There we go. Within 21 paces, a creature with giant scythe arms can successfully draw and strike with its weapon before you could prepare a meteor. Listen, Dale, Dave, we're not gonna have you very long. I can just tell you that right now. Just step back and leave this to the professionals. Such terribly impatient mimics. Not even pretending. These ones are just terribly agitated. Maybe they have some kind of illness. Perhaps. Got me quarantined. Yeah, maybe that is why they're quarantined at the moment. That one seems fine. I guess that one's on the mend. Mm. Was on the mend. Was on the mend. Still could have been a carrier. Or at least not going to be the one to let an outbreak of mimic fungus happen on his watch. The Cordyceps variant that infects Mimic is real is extra devious. Because it, it it tries to pass itself off as something else. Before it uh, fully infects. Nope, oh, off to the void with you. Yep. This is as far as you go. Double D's over there were not uh, going to be any kind of useful. They're safer in the void. Unlike Kahuna here, our friend. Wrong, noble Kahuna. Mm -hmm. Just missed. Still, teamwork one out. I'm gonna change my stance. It seems like mimics are just as powerful as the golems and they attack faster, so. Mm hmm. Noticeably faster. Especially. The thing that slows them down is they have a lot of wind-up on the first attack, but if they don't have to move, they can follow up very quickly. Which is the opposite of how the golems do, which is that they have a very fast first attack, but they are slow to follow up. Golem favors alpha damage. Mimic favors I DPS. I have a feeling we could be excellent friends. That is, if you are willing to be my best customer. Now we know all about them. And by knowing all about them, that means that we can, uh, we can charm them, right? Yes. Confusion Staff is a pretty good staff. Titan. Titan is an interesting, I... uh, mm. mix. I think that's the largest of the raw quality prefixes. I think Divine is the, the best one. Mm, maybe. Could be competitive. Might be. And this, this guy right here, I believe, is the final merchant in the game, right? Yep, last merchant. Yeah. That's why I bothered to repair anything. Beyond this point... Cash cannot protect you. Only trust your fists. The banks have no power here. There's no...
Can I keep that on the old tool belt? Remember, it's only hubris if you fail. And only greed. If you don't fail. Luna has found the one safe spot. Excellent. Well, he found it and then immediately lost it. He found it. many more unsafe spots. Ever the Explorer. Each different hue of dog is an entirely different creature and needs its own scroll to be worked with. Right. Basic dog is not much, white dog is pretty good, black dog is the strongest. Void dog is a powerful hound. Yes. I appreciate all dogs, however. Alright, here we are. Coolie, Swamp is dead. Out of Swamp. Winter is here.